Hello all and welcome back to the Pipe Cottage. I want to make a video about uh, why I don't trust the uh, American medical profession. I don't trust it. I don't believe it. The American medical profession wants us to believe that smoking tobacco is at any level bad for your health. I don't believe that. I think that uh, smoking industrialized factory made cigarettes and inhaling that into your lungs is a bad idea. But I don't think that smoking a pipe is bad for your health at all. Let's think about what's bad for your health. You go to McDonald's, you go to Burger King, you consume fried foods that are cased in seed oils. That's not good for you. But I don't believe in telling you that you should not eat those things. If you want to eat it, go ahead. Since Trump has been elected, one of the most important persons that I think uh, he will invite to be a part of his team, I think he's already invited him to be a part of his team, is RFK Jr., RFK Jr. has an understanding that I wish most Americans had. An understanding of uh, the problems of our food supply. American agriculture is controlled by huge, huge companies. Corporate companies. Seventy-five to ninety percent of the food that is sold in American grocery stores is filled with crap that we were never designed to put into our bodies. I'm a big meat man. I like meat. I like steak. I like all kinds of meat. You know what you get when you put a steak on the grill? You season it right and you eat that steak? You're eating as you were designed to eat. You're eating something that will fill you up, that will um, be of nutritional value. So I am really, really in favor of um, reducing big pharma, reducing the influence of um, big ag, My wife and I had a conversation today about health insurance. We're both self-employed. We don't have, we, we, we don't think it's important to pay for a health insurance policy. I don't think the people who own the health insurance 
um, companies are interested at all in your health. <laughs> they are interested in finding out how they can make money off of your body. So I was riding my horse today and just really enjoying a good time on our land that we have here in Kentucky. And the thought occurred to me like, um, so what if you have a health issue? What, what, what if you uh, are forced to deal with an operation? Who's going to pay for it? Most of the operations, the surgeries, the health problems that we deal with in this country could be avoided if we stopped paying attention to um, big pharma, big ag, and all of these people who um, think that Medicine and surgeries are always the answer to the problems of the human body. Folks, I'm not going to live forever and neither are you. My soul is. I mean, I'm, a, of course, a Catholic. I'm a Christian. My soul I, I have a, as an old pastor used to tell me years ago, I have a eternal soul living in a temporary body. My grandfather was told that he had to have open heart surgery in 1997. And he went through the surgery. They told him, said, you might not live another 10 years. Well, he lived another 20 years after that. It wasn't because a doctor was uh, extremely important and, and, and created a miracle. It was because God had decided the date that my grandfather was going to pass away. It's already decided. I think we spend too much time thinking about issues that don't matter. I get question after question after question on this channel about pipe smoking. Is it bad for my health? Am I going to reduce my lifespan by smoking pipe tobacco? Folks, we have far more to be concerned about than smoking pipe tobacco. Smoking pipe tobacco is not what, that, that's not what's killing Americans. And I know there are other people who watch this channel that are not in this country, but I want to talk to Americans for a few minutes. What's killing Americans is the lie uh, that we've been told that you know you have to that the, 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 that you have to have uh, a large amount of starch and sugar and um, bread in your diet. We've been told that if you consume red meat, if you uh, consume a large degree of, of meat of any type, that it's going to cause a problem with your cholesterol, with uh, a function of your heart. It's all a lie. The food pyramid is a lie. I went to public school um, from the first grade to the third grade. After that, my parents decided to homeschool me. And I remember that food pyramid uh, when I was in those first early grades. And everybody said you got to have a lot of bread, 
You just need to avoid meat, avoid uh, a, a large amount of protein and fats. Seed oils are creating a large, large amount of problem in the, uh, in the American diet, as well as sugar, processed sugar. I can't, I, I have been at war with the local grocery store because everything that I find in the local grocery store, almost 90% of the products that are sold in American grocery stores contain a massive amount of sugar, corn syrup, vegetable oils. That's where the problem is coming from. It's If we were to uh, talk about the health risks and what's really killing people in the United States, pipe tobacco should not be at all a part of that conversation. Cigars should not be at all a part of that conversation. Not at all. What's killing people is processed foods. Stress. Where is the stress coming from? Well, it's coming from people who are trying to make ends meet. It is coming from a situation in this country where um, the government is placing a, 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 a stronghold, is placing a block, it's blocking uh, the amount of, of freedom that we're supposed to have. People are working nine to five jobs and not able to make ends meet. Folks who are business owners are being taxed beyond measure by the federal government, making it almost impossible to create a successful small business. We're being told by the medical profession uh, that there's no way to be healthy in the United States. I mean, I don't believe it. I don't believe the medical doctors anymore. I don't believe them. We have doctors who are telling us, well, don't eat red meat. That's bad for your heart. Uh, just you, you, They're still following the pyramid that was created by the government, by the USDA 50 and 60 years ago. I think it's been proven by now that if you have a diet that is largely meat-based and that is wholesome in its vegetable consumption, then you are doing far, far better than what the uh, federal government wants people to believe. I get asked the question all the time, is pipe tobacco bad for your health? <laughs> no, I would actually argue that pipe smoking is beneficial to your health. It is beneficial. Of all the things that we have to be worried about and concerned about regarding our health, I think pipe smoking is at the bottom of the list. I can show you more than one piece of scientific evidence, more than one piece of scientific uh, uh, study that has proven that pipe smokers actually outlive those people who do not smoke tobacco at all. It's not even a question. It should not be a question. If you want to smoke a pipe, then smoke a pipe. That's not the same category as people who want to smoke cigarettes. It's not the same category at all. We spend so much time worrying about stuff that don't matter and we don't cultivate a proper understanding of those things that do matter. Doctors, medical doctors, the big pharma, 
the big ag, all of these people have too much power, too much influence, and they're destroying the joy that we can possess and that we should, by right, possess in the United States. If you want to smoke a pipe, smoke the damn pipe. I'm not at all persuaded by medical science that smoking a pipe is going to reduce your lifespan at all. I am, however, convinced that stress will reduce your lifespan. That constantly, daily consuming industrialized agricultural products will reduce your lifespan. When it comes to pipe smoking, I think that um, you, you, you <laughs> you've got bigger fish to fry if you want to be concerned about your health. Anyway, I'm going to go. Got a lot going on. I've got animals I've got to go take care of before the sun goes down. But this is Alan Harrison with the Pipe Cottage. Thank you for stopping by.